A huge tree that crashed onto the ground overnight happened in the front yard of a home on Hill Street. That giant tree took down a fence and a power pole with it. Now, your CBS 46 forecast with meteorologist Jim Losnicka. Yeah, lots of trees down because of the big rains over the weekend. On Saturday, we had a record rainfall of over two inches. That broke a 117-year-old rain record in Atlanta. So not surprisingly, the big rains, the ground is soggy, a little wind toppling those trees over. We could see some more of that next couple of days as a few waves of low pressure skirt by Georgia producing those showers. Our rainmaker from the weekend is now here across Charleston and the uh, Outer Banks of North Carolina. The one creating the rain this morning and this afternoon is just parked to our south. There's one more cutting across here tonight into tomorrow. It's just now forming back near New Orleans. So all this right along a stationary front and with that front and low pressures in the area, well, you see all the rain developing here last couple of hours. So today it's not quite quite as stormy as yesterday, but there's a lot of green showing up and notice it's lifting off towards the north towards Atlanta. So in the city, I do think we'll see a few showers here uh, before midnight tonight. So maybe a few more rumbles in your neighborhood overnight as you're off to sleep this evening. We'll go right to live CBS 46 radar start first north of Atlanta. One heavier shower here in Dawson County producing some pretty good rain and not moving. So just south of Dawsonville, be on the lookout for some road ponding here next hour or so. And one light shower also around Cartersville between say Cartersville and Adairsville. That is east, excuse me, west of I-75. So should not impact travel, but you might be in and out of the mist here on 75 heading northbound for that evening commute. South and east of Atlanta, look at this mess in Monticello. We've got a big time cell here right over the uh, southeastern part of our viewing area. Uh, this is in the uh, Jasper County area. We've got some heavy rain here too. And that storm also not moving. So be on the lookout for some localized road flooding. Back to the maps we go. What to expect tonight? Through 9 o'clock, showers around and north of Atlanta and around and southeast of Atlanta. Everything kind of rotating in our direction, but should fade away past midnight. So it should not be as wet tonight as it was last night. We'll start tomorrow morning at daybreak with some low clouds and fog, maybe a little mist, and then check it out. More green popping up on the radar scope, at least forecast to do so by mid-afternoon. So watch out once again for more showers in and around Atlanta, especially south and east tomorrow. And the same situation, showers passing by between 4, 5, and 6 tomorrow evening. So we'll go with a 40% chance rain again for your Tuesday. Rainfall amounts highest to our north and east and south and east, but in Atlanta, forecasting close to an inch next 24 hours, about the same near Eatonton. Slightly lower amounts in Athens and slightly lower amounts back towards the Grange. But again, where the heavier cells pop up, they can deposit some locally heavy rain on the order of one to two inches. But overall tonight, about a half inch expected with that similar pattern tomorrow and more sneaky storms this week. I've got the wet details in that seven day forecast and just about, they'll say 21 minutes.